What is up guys, it's Investing Sensei here to bring you episode 9 of the Weeble Option Adventures where our main focus for this portfolio is to generate that weekly income. So this is by selling options, we basically are selling covered calls and cash secured puts and collecting the premium from selling the options and as well as collecting the capital appreciation we get from the covered calls if our shares are taken away so we are doing pretty well our focus right now is to try to get to a thousand dollars where we are generating that income well about a thousand dollars per week right now we're kind of fluctuating between 500 and a thousand it's not very consistent so we are going to try to get this done this coming year of 2021 i know we can do it but this is actually the last update for 2020 on how much we made for this past week. I am starting this off a little newer or a little different. I am going to start off with the Google Sheets. I'm going to show you guys the gains and then we're going to jump over to my current trades because right now it is Tuesday night. It's about to be Wednesday. But I want to show you guys my current positions and how much we've made so far for this current week of 2021 as well. So we'll jump over that. But let's go ahead and start the date here on this Google Sheets. If you guys are interested on this, uh, I do have it for free. Let me know. I can uh, link it out for you guys. But we are going to do the 28th of December to our start date. And then our end date is actually the 31st. We could do the first. It doesn't really matter because the first, the stock market was closed. But we did end up making and premiums. We collected $602.09, which brought up our full portfolio up to $51,072.90 and if you guys actually look here and check it out we actually collected $102 in just premium and then uh, we didn't pay anything in debit so we didn't buy any we didn't do any buybacks on our uh, contracts but our capital appreciation our gains themselves we did collect almost $500 and that's because our some of our shares were taken away and I'm actually going to jump over here. I want to show you guys a quick sneak peek on this. So one of the things about this is that we ended up 2020 and I, we do have to pay taxes on this. This is one of the downsides about selling options is that we are going to get taxed as a regular income. So I am going to pull out the capital appreciation we made for this whole year, which we started about doing this around june or july so it's only been about six months and we made about fifteen thousand dollars and uh our you know our investment we were about 44 percent which is really awesome and you know we have to account for our tax bracket right now i'm about the 30 percent tax bracket so i'm gonna pull out about 30 percent of these profits of fifteen thousand and so that means that i have to pull out which on the portfolio itself I went ahead and pulled out $4,694.28. I'm saving these for uh, when we do the taxes because I will have to pay taxes on these capital appreciations. But you know, the goal of this is to be able to have that passive income. I mean, it's not really passive, but to me, I think of it as passive because it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes a week to generate this income. It's super easy and you don't have to worry about it because the worst case that can happen to you is either you get assigned 100 shares or 100 shares of your your stock gets uh, taken away so it's really awesome i wish i had known about this a lot earlier i would have been doing this a lot a, a lot longer but uh anyways 2021 we are starting off with uh, the portfolio value of forty six thousand three hundred forty seventy eight dollars and sixty one cents so that's after their taxes and if we look at the weekly performance you'll see that week 30th which was the last week of 2020 we did make the 602 dollars uh, just in collecting premiums and also capital appreciation but we did end up the year with fifty one thousand seventy two dollars and eighty nine cents we only had invested uh, I believe 35,000 we can actually check out over here by going to invested and uh, yeah we basically just invested $35,425 and 28 cents and we ended up the portfolio with 51,000 so how awesome is that guys this is really awesome with the selling options I really enjoy it but if we go over here to the credits I'm gonna show you guys what we sold so we did end up closing the apple so this one was taken away we our 100 shares got taken away at 131 dollars so we made about a hundred dollars in 
uh, profits. And then we did sell cash secured put on DraftKings. We sold two of them and we collected $150 almost. We got assigned those 200 shares of DraftKings. And then uh, from this, we did sell two covered calls on NEO at a 47 strike price. We collect about 49 cents each, well, $45. And then uh, we were, those shares were taken away. I did lose some money because NEO is around 50 something dollars now. But remember, the focus of this strategy is to collect that premium every single week. And I don't want to get too attached to one company or so. And then we did end up selling a covered call on Beyond Meat. We collect about $10. This company has just been. You know we've we've been losing a lot of money on this company because we did get assigned at 140 dollars a share and it is around trading around 125 now but you know the beauty about this is that we are not on margin and we can hold this company for the long term and that's why i sell you know i believe in this company i know it's going to grow much higher than 140 dollars per share and I know that it'll soon recover. I would actually like to add more to lower my cost basis because I know we will make a huge amount just from the difference in the capital appreciation. But for the debit, we uh, ended up getting assigned the Beyond Meat and then DraftKings, which we do have these open now. And you'll see that the Apple position that we had open is now closed and as well as all the Neo ones that were uh, basically closed as well. So this is really awesome on the gains themselves right here. You'll see that our Apple was taken away. We made about $99, almost $100. And then for Neo, we made about $400 in uh, the difference from our cost basis when uh, the covered calls were uh, exercised. But yeah, guys, this is the whole update for this past week. We made about $600 super easy super passive almost i spent about 15 minutes at the most for the week and we generate about 600 dollars. that is pretty amazing to me but let's go ahead and jump over to the weeble app so that i can show you guys my current trades for the first week of 2021 all right guys so we are at the weeble app our current value of the portfolio it is forty four thousand two hundred ninety seven dollars and fifty two cents we are doing well the portfolio is pretty much down and you guys already noticed probably on Monday that we did have a big red day just overall in the market. But if we look at this, our cash balance right now is $8,671. We actually only have about $3,000 available to trade because we are selling a cash secured put, which I will go over in a little bit. But the first thing I did do was I actually bought 100 shares of Wynn Resort at a cost basis of $106.94 and then immediately I sold a covered call on those 100 shares at a strike price of $110. We collected a premium of $1.58 which was amazing there and it looks like we well earlier in the trading day we actually hit $110 on the actual strike price so we will see on Friday if it's over $110 we will get taken away. Uh, with the 100 shares and we'll make the difference so we will make about $300 so 110 minus 106.94 and we will make about 300 plus the premium we collected we will basically collect about $460 $450 around there that price so that is pretty easy money right there guys and then over here for DraftKings we have been getting uh, destroyed with this we our cost basis right now for us is $51 a share we have 200 shares and this stock has just been tanking it was around $44 and I ended up selling two covered calls when it was around $45 and the premium we collected was $31 per contract so we got about $62 and we sold it at a strike price of $51 so we'll see if Friday this stock recovers hopefully it doesn't recover because i do want to sell a premium well i want to sell a covered call at a higher strike price so we can get that capital appreciation as well right now we would basically just keep the premium and if our shares were taken away we wouldn't make any capital gains and it looks like 
there was a youtuber that just showed up as a notification um, so I'll have to go watch their video in a little bit but uh, speaking of that as well if you guys haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe with that bell notification so you guys can get that type of notification when I do upload new videos and that would be awesome because then you guys can watch these immediately as soon as I post them but anyways the other thing we do have is we have a hundred shares of at and I have a covered call I collected about three dollars in premium strike price is thirty one dollars fifty cents and then it expires on the 8th so this Friday we will see if uh, basically I'm assuming the contract is going to be expired worthless because the current strike the current price of at and is at twenty nine dollars and thirty one cents so it's not going to get to thirty one dollars and fifty cents and then the last thing here guys we do have a beyond meat 100 shares this is what i was telling you guys we are holding at 140 dollars a share and current stock price is 126 dollars and 90 cents so i am trying to wait a little bit so i can sell a covered call i could have sold one earlier this week and collected about 30 40 dollars but i was just trying to see if it would go back up but we'll see what happens throughout the week i do want to sell a covered call soon but let's find out what happens see how this stock performs soon because usually what happens to me is that i'll sell a covered call and then immediately the stock continues to skyrocket up and so i've noticed that but this is what's really awesome about selling options is that you either way you're always going to win right so in our case we would always collect the premium no matter what happens if the contract expires or if our shares are taken away or if we get assigned shares right so this was really awesome about this and to me it doesn't really matter much as long as i make that i continually make income every single week and i will probably sell a covered call tomorrow we'll see what happens and then the last one here for you guys we did sell cash secured put on neo which i sold it at 50 dollars. so basically what this means is that if neo by friday closes at $50 or below, I will get assigned 100 shares of NEO at $50 a share. And just by selling that cash secured put, we ended up collecting $1.07, which means that we collected $107. So remember, each contract is 100 shares. So basically multiply the $1.07 times 100. So we would basically collect $107, which is amazing. So, so far there, we do have We've made quite a bit of money there. We'll see if our Win Resort shares do get taken away. We'll probably make in about around $500, $600 in total for the week. This week performance was pretty bad, but you know, we're still generating that income every single week and that's what matters at the end of the day. But anyways guys, this is all I have for you guys. I will make an update next week showing you guys how everything ended up playing out. But uh don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and as well, if you guys are interested, be sure to sign up with my Webull referral link. You can uh, sign up, get four free stocks, and basically it's free money, guys. Uh, all you have to do is uh, sign up, deposit $100, and then you'll get the four free stocks. I will as well get one free stock, which I will basically open it up in my next update, and if you guys don't want to use those $100, just deposit the $100. And then after you get the four free stocks, you can withdraw the $100. You don't have to invest them. So that's pretty sweet. But anyways, guys, take care. Stay safe out there. I'll catch you guys in the next update. Bye.